Well, good afternoon, everyone. You know, I think this is my fourth year at the AATC conference, and I've made some new friends, and I've seen a lot of old friends as well. And I'm also, too, very happy to share, because I shared it with Joe uh, yesterday. We see this as an investment in you. It takes a little bit of time, but you know what? It's actually coming to fruition and I've started to generate uh, activity, or you've started to act activate some activity for me. And I have my first two groups actually coming up, uh, two family reunions on our brand new ship that's coming into South Florida in December of this year, MSC Seaside. I've also, no so thank you for that. Also too, I've noticed that there has been a current uh, trend this morning during the appointments. There are some people that just simply don't know who I am, meaning my brand. Some who do not understand where we actually fit in the marketplace because our brand is not well established in North America. So some of what I plan to share with you this afternoon, and I'm under a 20 minute time constraint, and I will be given a five minute reminder uh, upon approaching that end. So I'll try and be very cognizant of that one but there's just so much information to actually uh, be shared with you, and I certainly wanted to introduce the presentation to you this afternoon with a video that we are currently running right now titled, Not Just Any Cruise. This is not just any cruise. This is MSC Cruises, one of the largest cruise lines in the world, where every detail is beyond just ordinary. You won't see just one performance. You'll see a different show every night. And you won't be served just any meal. You'll enjoy freshly prepared international cuisine. Because this is not just any cruise. This is an MSC cruise. So before I begin, I would like you to remember these numbers because I'm going to come back to it towards the end of the presentation. The first set of numbers is 50, 74, 91, and the second set of numbers are 58, 86, and 108. And we will come back so you'll see the relevance of those numbers towards the end of the presentation. But who exactly is MSC Cruises? I could tell you that we're relatively new to the North America market, but we're certainly not new as a cruise line. We have over 300 years of seafaring experience, and let me explain why we come up with that because there are two sides to our portfolio. We've always been in shipping, and our portfolio consists of the container carrier side of the company, where we're the second largest container carrier in the world, actually having 500 vessels that actually do container work. So when you see containers on the roadway that actually has MSC on it, that is the shipping side of the company. Back in 1998, we actually formed the passenger side of the business and where we actually started acquiring existing vessels and where those vessels actually coming online back in 2003. Today, we actually sit with 12 vessels in our fleet and we are actually building out and you will see some of that in the slides to follow. You know what? We are not just any cruise line. We are MSC Cruises. We will tell you exactly what that means to you and to your clients in this marketplace. Having 300 years of seafaring experience behind us, having a brand that's already the market leader in Europe, market leader in South Africa, market leader in South America, and we've actually set our sights on North America because as you may or may not know, North America is the largest cruise segment for any cruise line, but not for MSC Cruises. We're the fourth largest cruise line simply because the others have already purchased everyone else, and we are privately owned, which to us is a beautiful thing because we're not accountable to shareholders. The monies that we make, we actually reinvest in our brand, and we have actually set our sights on North America to get our fair share of the cruise business, and then some. You know, 
When I first took a look at this picture, I did not see the entire picture. I actually just noticed the upper portion of what you see there on the right-hand side. I had no idea what I was looking at. I thought I actually was looking at a condo in South Beach. But you know what this is? This is the back end of the ship that we're, at, we're currently building, the MSC Seaside. And this ship is going to be quite innovative as far as the ship design. No one has ever designed or built ships quite like this, and we continue to innovate the cruise industry with examples just like this ship that we are currently building, which will be delivered to us in December of this year, and we're MSC Seaside, the first MSC ship that's ever going to be christened here in North America, and we're so very excited about it. We also partner ourselves or partner ourselves with already established brands. Brands like Lego, like Kiko, like Samsung. We've just had a relationship uh, that we just formed with Cirque du Soleil, where Cirque is actually coming on board and is going to be instrumental in the design of one of the entertainment venues on the next ship that we actually have coming online, which is the MSC Miravilia, which will be launched in June of this year and which will be positioned year-round, seven-day med, uh, Western med that would be. What's also exciting about that ship is that ship is also coming to our shores as well. And she will be here with us in the fall of 2019. So we will have the MSC Seaside, year-round, seven-day, East and West Caribbean. We will have MSC Miravilia coming in the fall of 2019, not yet announced as to where she will be sailing from and where she will be going to. And then we'll have the MSC Divina, who is already here, who will be operating with us seasonally. In the winter, she will be here, and when she will go back to Europe during the summertime. I could tell you we do do a lot of family travel. We do a lot of multi-generational travel, and that's one of the market segments that we're actually going after here in the domestic market. So who are we targeting? Quite frankly, all of you. New cruisers, group leaders, consumers, who may always look at a land vacation and have never looked at cruising as a viable option. Yes, all cruise lines recycle group passengers and passengers in general. We steal from each other. But you know what we should be doing is cultivating new cruise business and land vacationers is an untapped market and that's exactly who we're going to. One of the reasons why I'm here is because you more often than not operate motor coach trips, land vacations, etc., and where cruising may not necessarily be on your site right now. But each of the cruise lines are actually growing and we're no different and I want you to keep your line sight on me at MSC Cruises. We are also carrying a lot of seasoned travelers, port collectors. You know, there are some people that travel constantly in all cruise lines, and all they're doing is port collecting, port collecting, port collecting, looking for that destination that they have not yet touched to actually add to their portfolio. We're looking for those that actually take land vacationers, as I had mentioned before, but we're actually being a little bit bullish about it, if I could use that term. Because all of us here, we are all loyal to the points that we actually get, whether it's hotel points, resort points, airline points, etc. And we're loyal to those brands of which we are part of, that we actually accumulate those points, which transpose into benefits for us. At Embassy Cruises, we realize that we're the new kids on the block. We want everyone to come and give us a test drive, or maybe I should say a test sale. But we also know, too, that people are loyal, and they don't necessarily want to give up all of the perks that they work so hard to earn with another cruise line or with a hotel. So we've actually introduced a program called Status Match, which basically means if you are a member of any cruise lines program, if you are a member or loyalty program for any hotel or resort, send us your highest level 
of that particular cruise line or that resort, we know exactly how many points you need to get to what particular level you may currently hold. Send us that information, and on your very first cruise, we will give you the equivalent points, the tier level that you would have earned had you been traveling on MSC Cruises, and we will give you all of the benefits from your very first cruise with MSC Cruises. Because you know what? Loyalty is a wonderful thing. It could hold you back from trying us, but if we match it to our comparable level from your first cruise, you probably will give us that opportunity. And my goodness, we do a lot of family travel. We do a lot of multi-generational travel. One of the meetings that I had this morning, someone asked me, how do you compare, or where do you sit against the North America cruise lines? I don't necessarily like to reference cruise lines when they're not here, and no, why would I want to anyway? But for this reason, I think it's very important. If I had to compare a North American cruise line that we most closely resemble, as far as our passenger demographics, it would be Royal Caribbean simply because the medium age of our passenger is in the mid-40s, and we do do a lot of family and multi-generational travel. We actually sit in the contemporary marketplace. We actually straddle the upper premium with an accommodation type that we actually have in our ships, which is called the Yacht Club. You know, we have over 150 destinations that we actually cover worldwide. As I already mentioned, we are the market leader in Europe. And why? Because we have a year-round presence in the Mediterranean, east and west. We're seasonally in Northern Europe. Seasonally in, in, in Latin America with four ships, in the Antilles, out of Guadeloupe. And then we also have two ships in, in a destination that we have chosen here in North America not to market directly from MSC to North Americans, and that is Cuba. And we actually have two uh, vessels in Havana uh, with uh, ports of embarkation in Havana, unlike the other cruise lines here that have started to operate programs into Cuba from Miami. But we have chosen not to operate those programs on our own. They are actually being sold by a small handful of tow operators uh, who have taken some inventory and who will be marketing that program. But at MSC US, we have chosen not to. There is so much opportunity here with us, and there is so much talent in this room. I could tell you that there are travel partners in this room who are actually assuming the role of a seller, please listen to what they have to say and the services that they actually have to represent or to offer. There are some program directors that are sitting on the opposite end of the table who are also travel partners. There's so much business for all of us. I encourage you to utilize the services of a travel partner. They're very skilled in everything that they actually do. And I, there's Trisha Cook, who is actually here from iCruise WMPH Vacations, who is operating like on my side of the, um, of the appointments this week. There's Gloria and Alan as well from a low quest travel experience. You know, one of the things that Gloria and Alan said to me before coming in, in here, you have a wonderful product, but no one really knows who you are. And it's up to us to actually educate those consumers on why this brand is so very attractive. And ladies and gentlemen, my brand is very attractive. My brand right now is priced too low for what we have to offer. I consider MSC Cruises right now to be on sale, but it will not be on sale for very long. So why are we the fastest growing cruise line? Well, you know what? We already uh, sit with 12 ships in our fleet, and we have 11 more babies coming online. 11. And if that wasn't enough, we have three different classes of vessels that we're actually introducing. The first class is Miravilia, and Miravilia Plus, where we have four ships being built, 
one of which is going to be delivered in June of this year. And she will be based year-round in the Mediterranean doing a West Med. And on that particular ship is where we have that relationship with Cirque du Soleil. Then we had the seaside class, three vessels in that class. And the second ship that we're delivering this year, MSC Seaside, is actually joining us out of Miami in December of this year. And if that wasn't enough, I'm getting my five minutes, and if that wasn't enough, we also have world class that we're actually introducing, commencing in 2022 through 2026. So we are growing by leaps and bounds. We're here to stay. We want our fair share, and then some. I also left some information at each of the tables, including uh, your packets that each one of you would have received this morning, regardless of whether or not you had an appointment with me, that really speaks to groups and how easy it is to actually do groups with us. Quite frankly, take a look at what is happening here. There's a hotel, there's a room, there are meals, there's entertainment, there's transfers. My gosh, we do it all for you. All you simply have to do is to give us a call. Everything is there. And you remember those numbers that I gave you before? 50, 74, 91, 58, 86, or 108? Let me tell you exactly what that is. That's the per person cost per day, plus taxes, of what would be for a seven day Caribbean cruise, Eastern Caribbean, that actually has ports of call, San Juan, St. Martin, and Nassau. Let me repeat that back to you. $50 per person per day for an inside accommodation. Where could you go for that shoreside? $74 per person per day for an ocean view accommodation. $91 per person per day for a balcony accommodation. And you know what? If you want to elevate the experience, it's 58, 86, or 108, same inside ocean view and balcony, except on the higher amount, it actually includes 12 drink vouchers per person. Where could you possibly go shoreside for seven days where you pack and unpack once, that you are practically in a different port every other day, that you have the entertainment, the activities, your lodging, your meals, where you could do everything or nothing? It's entirely up to you. And on these voyages that I refer to, those are group rates. And those are group rates for two departures and our brand new ship that's coming to your home port of Miami, the MSC Seaside, for two departures in October of 2018. Our books are open for groups. I mentioned before that we actually are carrying a, a family reunion with us on MSC Seaside for June the 9th that actually came out of last year's meeting. Wonderful opportunity, and the beauty of it is that we at MSC Cruises, we guarantee the group rate down to the very first stateroom. So you could start off with eight staterooms, you end up with one, two guests, we guarantee the group rate. And if there was a customer facing amenity like an onboard credit, we guarantee that onboard credit down to the very first stateroom. And you know what? We also waive deposits as well, giving you time to actually go out and promote your group space. So when you're thinking about your next reunion, activity, incentive, girls week out, think about MSC Cruises, please. We offer the best value out there, and as I said before, we are currently underpriced, but not for long. And the only reason why we are currently underpriced is no one knows who we are, not yet, anyway. So thank you very much for your time. Enjoy your tour this afternoon. And I look forward to working with you.